concerned. That was out of a conviction from 2020. But this does not mean that Harvey Weinstein is a free man by any means, because as you guys mentioned, he has several cases against him, including a case here in California. Now, the case this morning being listened to in Santa Monica, this is a motions uh, hearing essentially from a 2013 case, a woman claiming that she too was raped by the ex-movie mogul. This now opens the door for a new trial against the executive producer as far as the case in New York goes. Four to three decision, an appeals court in New York found that the judge who presided over Weinstein's case, Justice James M. Burke, made a critical mistake allowing prosecutors to call as witnesses a series of women who claim that Mr. Weinstein assaulted them, but those accusations were not part of the actual charges against him and swayed the jurors. Essentially, it ended up being a mistrial. The court ordered a new trial and his accusers could be called to testify again. Now, this new ruling does not mean that Weinstein is a free man. The 72-year-old ex-movie mogul is currently in semi-protective custody in upstate New York in a prison there. He was sentenced in 2022 to a 16-year prison sentence in California after receiving uh, what he was convicted on, raping a woman at a hotel in Beverly Hills, and will now be sent back here to California to continue sentencing for convictions here. Weinstein, over the years, has faced several charges from several different women, all going back to 2017 following an investigative report published by The New York Times and The New Yorker, which ultimately sparked the Me Too movement. New York's highest court ruled that the judge made egregious improper rulings by allowing women who were not named victims in the case to testify to uncharged allegations of prior bad acts. And the highest court felt that their testimony that was improperly admitted swayed the jury and did not give Harvey Weinstein a fair trial. Now back out here live again, the Santa Monica Courthouse. We have not seen Weinstein's attorney showing up here this morning, but they are likely here regarding this motions hearing. Now, as far as his camp goes, we have reached out to comment, but all we've seen so far in response to uh, the the decision coming out of New York is that his attorneys are saying they said to NBC News they are delighted, thrilled with the decision. However, they acknowledge there's still a long road ahead considering they hope to continue to fight all the other charges against him. I'm Lena Bevan reporting live in Santa Monica, KTLA 5 News. Okay, Alina, thank you. An epic rant caught on camera at LAX as a woman loses it on Airloin Air... <laughs> Airloin? <laughs> <laughs> Not airline. Yeah, Air I like that though. Airline employees, take a look. Call Pete Moon Judge right now. The head of the TSA. Call that mother right now. Get me up on the next flight. Get me up on the next mother flight. Seriously. Wow. According to TMZ, the woman was angry after she missed her initial flight and Delta had rebooked her the next day. Her main problem, the ranting woman, was at the wrong terminal. Well, there you go. Oh, boy. Screaming at WestJet employees, who seemed to take the situation in stride. Later in the video, the woman revealed she'd also been drinking. Gee, there's a shocker. I don't think anyone wants that woman on their flight, though. You know what you, I mean? You like, yeah, we'll just put yeah. you... I don't want to be on a plane with that lady. Sorry. Um... She seems like she needs to simmer down before she you gets think? on a plane. Uh, yeah. Spirit Airlines uh, claiming an unwanted title. New survey has ranked the airline as the worst in the country. The study by the CFI group, a group of customer satisfaction management experts, factored in a wide range of criteria, including baggage handling, the boarding process, cleanliness. It also considered airlines' loyalty programs, mobile apps, and staff. Spirit Airlines ranked poorly in all of those categories. Just yesterday, we told you about an incident aboard a Spirit flight where liquid from the plane's bathroom was spilling down the aisle. Last year, Frontier Airlines was ranked the worst in the U.S. The people at Frontier are like, yes, yes we're no longer last. Big celebration at Frontier. Spirit. Eh. <laughs> I wonder how you feel walking into Spirit this right. morning, you know? Yeah. You I, to go I wonder deal. if they're 
dispirited. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> oh, man. possibly. Okay, with that, we're going to go to the weather, and it's cloudy. We're getting reports of some light drizzle, some rain in the downtown.